So this is the little habitat I have set up for Sailor. Right now, he's in there eating like a good boy. Anyway, it's like 35 inches tall, as you can see. Like, he can't jump over it. This is his gate, and this is how tall this is. So he can't jump over it, but this is where he will be when... Ooh, my knee popped. This is where he shall be whenever um, we have to leave him for any period of time when he can't be under strict surveillance. And it has this cool little door on it that you can close. And you close these little latches. And then you can tighten them. That way if they like mess with it they don't pop up. Oh yeah, that April. Righty tidy lefty Lucy. I'm a dork. Okay, so that's tightening in. And now he says, Mommy, let me out. Oh hey, hold on, I'll mind you out. Like, I'm gonna leave this up until I leave. And obviously, like once I leave, it'll be up too. But what I'm saying is that way he can just come in and out while I'm home. Sailor, sit. Sit. No, sit. Good boy. Now speak. Good boy. Oh, don't hit the camera, dork. <laughs> don't chew on your cage. Oh, he says, this is new. Do I need to put the bitter apple stuff on that? Huh? Do I need to put the bitter apples on the cage so you don't eat it? Hmm? I don't want to. I have this bitter apple stuff that I got from like PetSmart and watch out. Stay away. And you like just spray a little bit on where they're chewing. And then they won't chew on it anymore. And we've had like awesome success. We have sprayed it on all sorts of stuff like the edge of the bookshelf and the edge of the baby gate or the puppy gate. Please excuse my dirty carpet. So yeah, and I've had to spray it down along this edge and everything, but... Sailor, do I need to spray the stuff there too so you don't try to gnaw on it? Huh? Okay, Sailor, you want to say bye? Do you want to speak? Do you want to speak? Would you like speak? <coughs> Good boy! Say bye! Speak! Sailor, speak! Good boy. Bye, everybody.